So um, he is actually in the industry, but he has retired. So he had a lot of um, relationships already built within the industry, and his home had never been remodeled. So he decided it was time to go ahead and get that done. Um, with that being said, they had kind of an older home um, that had underutilized space and a space that was being overutilized and didn't have enough space within itself, as well as they had um, a change in their lifestyle. So they wanted to go ahead and do this remodel with all of those things in mind. So one of the main objectives for them were they had existing oak floors um, and they wanted to go ahead and save those and reincorporate that into the new um, kitchen great room that we created as well as the change in their lifestyle. They wanted the kitchen to be set up in a way um, they do a lot more cooking now at home and a lot healthier cooking. Um, so they wanted all of the appliances and just the layout of the space to work with, all, with the change in the lifestyle that they've made. So they had um, single wall construction, so that's where you've got that like three quarter thick to an inch thick redwood walls. Um, what we did within the kitchen space was we furred their walls out to make them a double wall, um, which allowed us to do a lot more with their electrical as well as some of the appliances that we put in the um, wiring that we would need to do. And then they had a wall that was kind of separating between the kitchen space and wasn't really, I'd say, a dining room, but it was kind of when you came in their front door, there was just this odd space that didn't really know how to utilize it um, to make it, you know, work, being that it was right next to the front door and on the other side of the, this wall that was dividing the kitchen from that space. Um, so they wanted to take that wall down and open the space up. Yes, so we um, used GE Monogram appliances. They went in with a separate refrigerator, separate freezer, so the columns that Monogram has. And we actually put them on opposite sides of the, the room. So the refrigerator is closer to the cooking area. And the freezer is on the other side near their built, new built-in pantry that we did for them. Um, we also did a French door oven so that they can do lots of cooking with that oven and it has the nice doors that are open side to side instead of up and down. And then we also did a cooktop surface as well as opposed to a range with having that French door oven that's built and sat up higher so you're not bending down. And then we also did the Vantium um, oven, microwave oven. So that does a lot of great cooking within itself. The lighting they did on their own, um, but they decided they had this really old fluorescent light that just hung right in the middle of the kitchen space, very outdated, unattractive. They went with um, recessed lighting. So they redid the ceiling area and put in all this beautiful recessed lighting. So the countertops, they, um, with him being in the industry, he used someone else for his counter surfaces, but we assisted them um, as far as putting everything together color-wise and making sure because they did do two different colors. Their island has more of a gray tone and their back main counters are white. Um, so we did help them with putting all the colors together because they were refinishing existing oak flooring um, to make sure everything was going to marry well and, and go together nicely. So we used their diamond um, cabinet manufacturer. They did a traditional shaker door. Um, they used a maple wood, so something light with a stain on it. So it has a nice soft brown um, coloring to it. So it went nicely with their oak floors. It has, you know, the golden tones to it, so it tied nicely together. And then of course they've got the plywood box construction, the soft closing doors and drawers, the hardwood dovetail drawers, all the bells and whistles that you'd want. So we had um, two openings that we tweaked around with a little bit. So they had an opening um, behind their sink area that went into their family room um, that we had to work around the layout of the cabinetry. And we modified the opening a bit um, to make everything work. And then they had a, a big opening, um, kind of like a huge doorway, I guess you would describe it. Like if you could think of a sliding door type of width. Um, that led into that family room as well and we modified that um, just to make everything work because the column, freezer column was on that side of the room where, near that opening so we had to modify it a bit to make sure we had the right amount of depth. And then they did have an AC unit up on the wall 
and that was on the other side of the refrigerator column. So we had some limitations as far as how far we could go with things. Um, so that was a little bit of a challenge, getting everything that we had in their space to fit within that space, because um, they also have an ice maker. <laughs> wow. So we had a lot of appliances in their kitchen, and we had to work within those restrictions of those openings and the, uh, the AC unit. Yeah, so they didn't have an island in the kitchen before. It was a very small kitchen. Um, so with taking down the wall and opening up that space, um, I think they never really thought of how that space near their front door could be incorporated into the kitchen space so that everything would just feel like it belonged. Because it was kind of a little odd. It felt like it just wasn't right when you walked in the door and there was this odd space when you first walked in their front door and then you go around the wall and you've come to the kitchen. Um, so I think it just turned out much better than they had envisioned it would come out in the end. I really like that they saved their existing oak floors um, and had them re-sanded, refinished, and patched or repaired anywhere that it needed to be. Um, I think that brought a lot of beauty to the space by them reusing the existing oak floors.